aspects we are going to learn partnerships last video we have discussed the meaning and definition of the partnership now we are going to learn features of partnership firm now we know that the definition when the two or more persons come together and start a business and they mutually agree to do the business they agree to bear the risk and distribute the profit as per the profit sharing ratio so such organization is called as a partnership firm now whenever the two or more partners come together mutually they understand what we have to do so they prepare agreement the agreement between the partner it may be written or oral written agreement sometime oral agreement But generally many partnership firm prefer written agreement why because it is a proof in the court of law and such a written agreement it, it is known as a partnership deed the written agreement is called as a partnership deed many partnership firm they do the business before doing the business they prepare agreement and it is written and they this agreement is partnership deal it is known as a partnership deal now friends next is number of partners the last video i already informed that minimum two partners are needed to start partnership firm maximum number of partners are 50 according to the company act 2013 that you have to keep in mind the maximum partners 50 50 and minimum 2 it should be lawful business third feature is lawful business in last video in the handis de definitions mention that the water business they run it should be lawful the business undertaken by the partnership should be lawful it cannot be undertaken business which is not allowed by government definition of the partnership also does not permit any illegal business water meaning they are provided uh, illegal business is not allowed sharing of profits and losses the purpose of the partnership is earn maximum profit why they are doing the partnership for because they earn maximum amount of profit partners have to share the profit sometimes they earn maximum profit so they share as per their ratio whatever ratio is mentioned in the agreement sometimes they suffer the losses losses also distributed as per their profit sharing ratio so if the agreement is silent the if the agreement is silent about the ratio then profit and loss sharing is to be equally this to this things you have to keep in mind whenever the they are not provided profit sharing ratio that time we will assume that their profit sharing ratio is equal then unlimited liability liability of partner is unlimited joint and share that is partners are liable till the last rupee in their pocket if the assets of the business is not sufficient to pay the liability that time their personal property partners personal property can be used if any one of the partner is declared is in insolvent then liability is borne by other solvent partners the liability of all partners are unlimited then reg registration now partnership firm registration is compulsory only in the state of maharashtra 
which effect from 1st April 2005. According to the Indian Company Partnership Act 1932, registration of the partnership is optional. In the Partnership Act provide, it's optional, but in Maharashtra state, it's compulsory. And it's compulsory from 1st April 2005. So these things we have to keep in mind. Registration of the partnership firm merely certifies, certifies its existence and it is a process of entering the name of the partnership firm in the register of registrar. Now next feature joint ownership and management. Each partner is a joint owner of the property of the firm. It means what? In partnership from order property is there, each partner is owner. So no partner can use property personal purpose. All partners have equal right in managing the firm. So all partners are jointly responsible for management of firm. Now next feature is the last feature but it's very important principal and agent now each partner work in the fold two fold capacities it means what principal and agent a partner act as a principal of the firm with the outsider it means every partner act as a principal to the outsider and with other partners he act as an agent with the other partners purpose partner is agent uh, outsiders purpose partner is principal the two roles are there in the partnership firm so i hope you understood the features of partnership firm Thank you.